I don't tend to cover new announcements on the channel, but this week's class 323 announcement from Dapol caught my eye. As primarily a modern image modeler, I'm always interested when a new class is introduced that hasn't been yet covered in double O gauge. That might have been sufficient in itself. When you take a look at this announcement, there's a lot more under the hood to get excited about. So in this video, I want to take you through the specification of the new model and highlight those items that certainly jumped out at me as something I would be interested in seeing in a new double O gauge model, not just in relation to the class 323, but any model. So let's get into it. Class 323 is going to come in a wide range of liveries that will span its operation from 1994 up to the present day, with internal refurbishment taking place over that lifetime and that will be represented in these models. It will come with a low profile motor in the centre car with all wheel drive. And I think if we've seen these implementations previously in some of the Batman models, there can be challenges with the low profile motor. It will be interesting to see how this actually performs in reality. Now for one of the items that really caught my eye. Now this was this 14 pin connector between the cars. We've seen three and four pin connectors in the past on DMUs, but this is the first time I think we've ever seen something like a 14 pin connector, which is not just going to carry signaling or lighting control, it's also going to carry the sound. So we'll see more of this in the final implementation, but for now this is what we're seeing from the announcement from Dapol, and this is new, this is innovative. It's going to be close coupled between the cars, and there will be working couplers at the end, to allow for six and nine car operation. So this again is uh, something nice to see on a model like this. It's gonna have a Plux 22 DCC socket. I'm not a huge fan of Plux 22 to be honest because it's kind of non-standard if you're kind of bought into the 21 pin form factor. Uh, so basically when I get this model, I'm gonna be getting this with the sound fitted from day one. The lighting is gonna be pretty comprehensive, directional, internal, cab lighting, switchable tail lights and door open lights, which will operate when you're in the station. So this is quite a complete package and I'll be very interested to see this. And obviously this is going to be getting controlled over that 14 pin connector that runs between the three cars. The sound is described as a bespoke implementation. And I guess that's because it's got speakers in the three cars and you're actually going to be routing sound between the cars rather than having individual decoders. In one sense, this is going to make it cheaper, more cost effective. Uh, and it should also give you a very good effect in terms of you're going to actually have sound coming from all three cars. So this is new and again, this is one of the things that caught my eye. Other features, uh, which is kind of a little bit more bland, there'll be a posable pantograph, it won't be an operating pantograph. I think that's fine, I can live with that so long as the, the pantograph itself is uh, robust enough and, and uh, actually looks the part. It will also have alternative destination labels that you can apply. Top scale speed on the prototype is 90 miles per hour, so we'll be testing that out when we get one of these models into our hands to see that it actually performs at that kind of speed. And then the price. Uh, so, so DCC ready, three car set is 350 pounds, DCC fitted 385, and sound fitted at 470. And I guess the sound fitted, uh, if you're getting sound in three cars, that's probably not too bad. So it will be interesting to see this, uh, in, that these will hold up. This is a preliminary specification, I guess. It is subject to change it's as of November 2023 in their press announcement. But I would hope that they can uh, implement pretty well everything they're looking to implement here and that they can do a good job of that implementation and uh, make this into a pretty good model if they can deliver all of what's on this slide here. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's the proposed uh, class 323 from DAPL coming our way sometime in 2025. They're saying around the middle of 2025. That's 18 months at least from now. Uh, so let's keep an eye on this. We'll keep an eye on the project and uh, I'll certainly be picking up one of these and reviewing it on the channel when the time comes. There's a lot to digest here. And at 470 pounds for the sound fitted model, this isn't a cheap model. And with this level of innovation, there always comes a level of risk. Still, I'm pretty excited at some of the things Dapol have planned for this model, and I'll definitely be investing in at least one of these models and will cover it on my channel when it lands. Dapol have issued full details on their website, so I'll post a link to that in the description. So what are your thoughts on this announcement from Dapol? If this class is of interest to you, and if so, what liveries would you be considering? Please share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video of interest, please hit a like, and I hope to see you on the next one. In the meantime, take care and happy modeling.